What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to do your reading for uh, the week ahead, next seven days, for you Scorpios. Okay, so let's see. What's going on with my Scorpios for the next seven days? Scorpios for the next seven days. What's going on with Scorpios for the next seven days? Please do it. Next seven days. One more. Ooh. Okay, bottom of the deck, watching Ish go down, enjoying the gossip. Okay, so there could be some gossip going around, things like that. All right, brainstorming ideas, problem solving, figuring Ish out. We also have destroyed, shattered, broken, effed up, and sexual protection. So somebody feels like they need to protect themselves from a person. Um, somebody does feel like something is destroyed. I mean, just completely dismantled in some sort of way. But um, somebody is trying to figure this out. They're brainstorming. Right. Clarify this energy. Brainstorming for Scorps. Brainstorming for Scorpio. Nine of Swords. Somebody stuck in the head, stressed out a little bit, a little bit of anxiety. Okay. Maybe some fear. What's destroyed? Knight of Wands. This could be somebody wanting to come rushing in with passion. Okay. Energetic about something. What's sexual protection for Scorps? King of Cups. Somebody's being very emotionally intelligent in some sort of way not you know two of pentacles eh. and it could be because somebody is either one foot in one foot out or they're juggling things here this week something to do with a partnership somebody's trying to you know this could be a good friend or be mature emotionally mature and stable about a situation hmm. let's see what does this have to do with? Why is this stress energy? Somebody's feeling overwhelmed or they feel like they're, you know, in some sort of guilt or regret. What's brainstorming? Divorce. It has to do with a divorce, a breakup, a separation. Intimacy could have to do with some sort of, you know, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Somebody could be reminiscing on the past when you two were intimate or into each other. What's destroyed? If y'all hear some noise in the background, that's my kids. I just heard them screaming and stuff. They playing. Are they okay? What's destroyed with Knight of Wands? Challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. So somebody feels like something may be too far gone. Ugh. Narcissist. Someone is too full of themselves. Somebody could have moved quick on something and kind of um, caused a lot of challenges in the situation or between you two. Um, and because of that, somebody could have, you know, chose to work on themselves because of whatever this was. It was, um, I mean, it, it was destroyed with sexual protection for Scorpio. Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. But this is clarifying sexual protection. Again, y'all, when y'all, when y'all see my readings, I always refer to that card as one or two. You could have, you, you could be getting a new pet. Okay. For one, two. You could be taking care of your current pet. But in this energy with the sexual protection and king of cups, I feel like this is more so of somebody treating you like a pet. Someone that just comes in, they kind of pet you, give you a little love, a little TLC, you know, and then they just kind of go about that way. So I feel like somebody feels as though they need to protect themselves from somebody that kind of keeps their options open. They're trying to be, you know, emotionally intelligent about the situation, be very mature and, and, um, Either give some sort of good advice. Earth sign, energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. This could have been a spouse or ex-spouse, something like that as well. Or you're dealing with the earth sign or this could be about money. Somebody could just be one to focus on money, you know, because somebody wants to still have their options open type of energy. Okay, spirit. What's what my kids yelling about? What's brainstorming with nine of swords? Karma. Toxic story, new opportunities. So there is some sort of toxic energy that's coming to an end. And somebody is either trying to figure out how to start something new or how to start over or how to have a new opportunity here. Somebody could, you know, be afraid of this. You know, there could be a lot of negativity resolving this, a lot of unhappiness. Um, somebody could be focusing on the past too much here. 
Yeah, beauty queen shining on stage in the door. Some, some of y'all could be in the spotlight or you're very well known. You get a lot of recognition here. So somebody could be, you know, maybe this was like a public breakup or separation or some, for some of you. And so somebody's like, well, how do I explain that? Or like, how do we get around that? Because publicly we said this, you know, blah, 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 whoop, -dee -whoop, whoop, whatever. Right. What's destroyed with passion for Scorpio? Destroyed with passion for Scorpio. Money, wealth, luck, and finances. So something to do with finances here. Somebody could have really destroyed like a generational wealth type of thing or a lot of money, a lot of finances. Or this is what could be the challenge or the hurdle. Brunette, female, darker hair, intense, and focused is here on the bottom of the deck. So somebody could have, you know, slept with somebody because of money, because of finances. Um, this could be somebody rushing in. It's giving me gold digger vibes. I, I'm sorry. Somebody could be rushing in because of finances. Somebody could be emotionally detached. What's the obstacles? Whining and dying. Yeah, but there's that twin flame card again. That came out a while ago. There could be some sort of obstacles here. And I feel like it has to do with some sort of money, finances, or stability. Okay. Either somebody slept with somebody or is sleeping with somebody for money. Or somebody could be traveling to make money as well. Or they travel to make money and this could have shattered and broken a connection with you. You know, that could be the challenge. They they moved or relocated or... Mm. What's sexual protection with the King of Cups for Scorpio? Home, property, real estate, residence, and then family. This could have to do with family life. Something about a pet, y'all, because there's a cat in this in this in this card here. But something about family is like some somebody feels like they need to protect their family or they need to protect themselves. Could have to do with a business. Somebody working with somebody in business or finances. True gem. I mean, somebody feels like. Somebody feels like they could work with somebody, collaborate with somebody. Somebody feels like they're a true gem or they bring a lot of quality or value here. But somebody feels like they need to keep their emotions in check because, you know, this person, I just heard, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. Okay. They may feel like somebody's a dog here. Okay. Somebody can get dirty and grimy. Woo, child. That's not funny. But that's what I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. That's what I heard. Somebody may feel like somebody a dog. Like they could dog you out. <laughs> it was the brainstorming with nine of swords. Good lord. Brainstorming nine of swords. Y'all, twin flame. Some of y'all dealing with your twin. Black magic. But somebody, yeah, someone's doing black magic. This could be your twin. This could be your other half, okay? If you're on a twin flame journey, honey, I'm going to that out, okay? Because, baby, whew, twin flames is hard, okay? But the twin flame journey, you feel like this person is your other half. Like, y'all are equals. Y'all can come together. Y'all can build. Y'all can grow. Y'all can create. Y'all just, y'all are yin to yang, right? Y'all have so much in common. Y'all do the same thing. Y'all know what it is, okay? But the thing that I'm seeing is there could have been some sort of toxicity that was happening. And we all know on the twin flame journey, if you're aware of it, is there's always karmics that get involved. And these karmics tend to like destroy. <laughs> okay. That's their purpose. Their purpose is to destroy situations, destroy y'all when y'all to, to keep y'all apart. Okay. It's, it's kind of like somebody could have manipulated the situation here through some black magic, you know, stuff like that to create something here. And now it's like, somebody's trying to figure this shit out. Like they're like, well, what do I do now? Cause maybe y'all already divorced or maybe y'all going towards divorce or maybe y'all breaking up because of this, whatever this toxic cycle was, you know, where somebody manipulated the situation or maybe y'all trying to figure out, well, how do we even have a new beginning? Because it could have just got that bad. You know, what's the brainstorming? Nine of swords. Second chances. Someone's getting a second chance. It's like, how how do we even go about this? How do we even get a second chance when it comes to this? Some 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 of y'all are bisexual, or you you deal with the same sex. 
scream, go six streams for attention, and catfish. Someone's not who they appear to be. Somebody, you may feel like somebody is just not honest or somebody wasn't honest in the situation. You may feel like somebody is catfishing you or somebody tried to catfish you or they feel catfish. I don't know if this is by you or by another person. They could have got catfished by another person, okay? Or by you, whichever, materialistic. Again, it's something to do with like a materialistic person here or something to do with um money finances in some sort of way somebody could be very materialistic you know they could be that oh squirrel type of energy again i'm a dog i'm a dog like they get lured away you know do the materialistic things gaslighting yeah Woo. i don't know about that okay somebody could be gaslighting here gaslighting somebody with money with finances Child. Or that's what could have happened. That's what could have pulled you to a part. Let's destroy it with the Knight of Wands. Destroy it with the Knight of Wands. Hustler. Always hustler knows how to get what they want. Mm, let's destroy it with the Knight of Wands. And energy interference. Why do I feel like somebody got in between, y'all? Yeah, tapping in, tapping in the energies. Yeah, and sexual connection, strictly sexual. There could be the X factor. There could be an X or a person on either one of y'all's side that got involved that lured one of you away or or got the other to destroy this connection for finances or for money. You know, somebody got tempted. Somebody came in with this energy interference and um, tempted another person to come sleep with them, come be with them. And, you know, uh, it was like a detour, okay? It was a detour or something like that. Somebody did that. Oh, child. Somebody may have needed to do some inner work to see things for what they truly are, to see things from their higher self. Like, oh, wow, this is this is what happened. Maybe, you know, they say in the twin flame journey, one twin awakens before the other. And so once that one twin awakens, you know, eventually the other one awakens, but it's on their own time. You can't force them. So somebody could have realized that somebody really got in between y'all to cause challenges, to destroy the connection between y'all so that they could get with the person. But they might have realized that the person was only materialistic, okay? What's sexual protection with the King of Cups for Scorpio? Oh, child. Dang, knock my pen down. Yeah, lustful vampire sexual drainage. I told you, I'm a dog. I'm a dog. What's sexual protection with the King of Cups for Scorpio? And single bachelor. One second, please. Okay, y'all. We is back. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, so what came out was lustful vampire, sexual drainage, and single bachelor. So somebody could have just wanted to be single. They wanted to explore their options. Again, I'm a dog, I'm a dog type of energy. And now somebody could have matured from that and realized that stability is what's more important, being stable, being secure instead of sleeping around and stuff like that. They feel like they need to protect their energy. They need to hold back from certain people, certain situations. Somebody could be a smoker, okay? You know, whether it's weed or, or, or cigarettes, whichever. But um, somebody could have wanted to be in the single life, right? Because they want to sleep around and all that stuff. But now they're realizing how precious that energy is to create a foundation, you know. Or they're realizing what lust can get them and what stability can get them is basically what's here. So somebody could be coming to realization this week. You know, if they was doing, yeah, the emperor and the two of pentacles, they could be one foot in, one foot out right now or indecisive, you know, juggling. Or maybe that's what they were doing and they're realizing like, dang, I want a solid offer. I want something sustainable. I want something that I can touch, feel, build, create, you know, taste, that type of energy. Something that's, you know, more solid. And they could be seeing that with you, you know, but maybe they just had to mature uh, in a situation. Okay, well, we're going to leave it there. Let's see, what will be their actions this week? Can you let go of the chair, baby? She got a death grip on the chair. What's this person's actions towards Scorpio this week? What's this person's actions towards Scorpio this week? I see them walking away this week, Scorpio. What's this person's actions? Uh, the death card. Because it's going to... It's. I see Eight of Cups and the Page of Cups. This is going to this is going to be a lot of changes here. Like they're really gonna have to transform. Okay, they're gonna have to release something. 
this person may do like that escapism. They may not even want to talk about it. You know, they can be doing some, they may walk away to do some sort of introspection. But I see them walking away. But then the Page of Cups, I see them coming back with a, a, a small offer. Mm. This person could be, you know, going through something on themselves again with themselves, especially with this death card. I don't know if this is you or them. Somebody's walking away, though. Somebody feels like they need to move on from the situation. But then I see this page of cups. So it's like it could be a message that comes in, you know, maybe an apology like I'm sorry, but I can't do it. I don't know. Something like that. But I'm seeing the eight of cups and the page of cups. Clarify that, please. You are slobbing all on my hand, girl. What's the outcome? What's their actions this week? Now, this can change. We all have free will. Yeah, I see some sort of communication coming in. We have oh, communication and courting man. Yeah, courting man and communication. And then we have new love. So this person could actually tell you that they're going towards new love or they want new love or this could be you. Travel. Ice King, yeah, because they could be emotionally detached. Maybe they just want to be single. Um, new person, unknown person. So I, I guess it's just kind of up in the air at this moment, Scorpio. I mean, we all have free will. It can change. It can change, but that's what it looks like, okay? But I'm going to leave it there. I hope this brings you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.